With less than one day until the campaign reveal of Halo Infinite, 343 releases the official box art and reveals so much about Halo Infinite, like the grappling hook, a wasp, the location, Palace of Pain possibly. Well, in this video, we're gonna dissect it all and break it all down. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the information. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you wanna see some more content like this, helps more people get a chance to see this video, stay more in the know with everything going on with Halo. Now 343 has been releasing these daily little tidbits of uh, content of pictures counting down the days until Halo Infinite's reveal for the campaign on July 23rd. And today we got something very special. We got like an animated awesome GIF just showcasing what it all looks like. It looks so cool, guys. And at first glance, you're like, yeah, it's cool box or whatever. But this picture does break down a lot of and provide a lot of information about what we can expect for Halo Infinite. So we're gonna go into the weeds and we're gonna look into this. I'd probably say the biggest thing that people are noticing from this image is the potential of a grapple hook on the Chief's left arm. As you see like this black attachment that we've never seen on the Chief's armor before. And it kind of has a bit of a point. Maybe it's some kind of wound up kind of part to the whole thing, which would definitely indicate it would be like a grapple hook. And our previous video, which we actually uploaded earlier today, goes into the leaks about how there is potentially a grapple hook in Halo Infinite. Though in the leaks, it does suggest that the grapple hook is a equipment pickup, which it would be rather surprising to show it on Chief in the box art, which would be kind of much more something you would see as a standard ability you would find on the character. Now, this could just be some cool stuff. Like obviously Chief's holding a gun, which is obviously there's gonna be multiple guns in Halo Infinite. So there could be just different kind of attachments you could put onto your character to customize them in certain ways to experience Halo in a different way. So one really important thing I wanna to showcase to you guys is the visor reflection on Master Chief in this box art. If you're looking really close, you can see that it looks like there'd be a brute holding a gravity hammer in there. Now we do know that the banished are gonna be in Halo Infinite so that that would make sense. A lot of people are assuming that we will see Atriox with uh, Halo Infinite as he was the main villain in Halo Wars 2. Though looking at this visor, it doesn't exactly look like Atriox as it doesn't look like Atriox's signature uh, gravity hammer it looks pretty standard as well as the uh, facial features which are kind of obviously blurry but you can kind of make out who it is kind of and uh, Atrox has like different kind of much different kind of hair or kind of growth on his facial features so I would not say this is Atrox in here it definitely could be that one brute that was mentioned in the banished confirmation video that 343 released now who this brute is exactly we can't really confirm as we don't have a clear image but I'm saying that it's probably not going to be Atrox I just love that tidbit of a little bit of information right there that you find within these images. It's so cool to find that kind of stuff. If you look in the lower right hand part of the image, you can also see that there looks to be a crashed wasp in this cover art. So this would confirm that the wasp is going to be returning in Halo Infinite. If anyone says it's the honeybee, it's not. It's the wasp. It's clearly the wasp on this one right here. Uh, we do see very various other shots that we've seen previously from other parts of uh, Halo's reveals as we see the broken part of the ring most likely the same ring that we saw in the discover hope trailer so we probably will be landed on that ring now you're also probably looking at the giant structure in the uh, upper right part of the whole thing this could be very interesting as we do not know for sure exactly what this is though we have very strong uh, implications of what it could be uh, the previous box art that we saw did have this structure on the box art as well as a tiny little spot right next to chief's hands and that so that's very important to know that they're bringing this back and it's a much more prominent part of the cover art, meaning most likely we're going to be going to this location. This location possibly being the Palace of Pain. If you do not know what the Palace of Pain is, it's a deep lore cut basically where it's a location where the Forerunners tested the flood on ancient humans to try to understand the flood better 
to you know hopefully take over it um and it's not been in any games but it has been in some lore i did touch on this palace of pain in a previous video essentially there's one little snippet of talking about a description of what the palace of pain looks like it looks like it's a really tall structure reaching up into the clouds which this is a really tall structure that could reach up into the clouds on this halo ring which the palace of pain happens on installation 07 which is the exact zeta halo which is the same halo reference in the morse code that's in the announcement trailer as well so a lot of big implications pointing towards install installation 07 zeta halo for this game taking place on which the palace of pain dude is massive with lore implications and story implications if you guys don't know the palace was in fact many flood researches with facilities on the ring and controlled by our artificial intelligence of mendicant bias under the supervision of the primordial these are some huge names within the halo lore that are just if you have never played the games i totally understand you don't know about them but trust me like these guys have such a huge implication with the entire story arc of halo as a whole and knowing that these have a possibility to be in halo infinite is uh well the lack of a better word amazing also can we just say how good our beautiful boy chief is looking in this cover art this looks absolutely amazing it looks so good i'm so excited for the reveal guys if you want to catch us we're doing a watch party of the halo infinite campaign reveal on the twitch channel of the for the community guys if you follow me link in the description down below and also in the pinned comment if you want to go to follow us on twitch we'll be doing a live stream discussing everything we're going to be seeing with halo infinite we're going to be breaking it down doing some live reactions it's going to be awesome i'd love to see you guys all there so thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it if you like this informational video please make sure to tap that like button Really helps out the video and channel and gives more people the chance to see this video and stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. If you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. Link to all my Halo Infinite news and information videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. But thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.